Okay, so you know this is the case that he's making. People make the opposite case. But one thing that is clear is that it's not going to destroy the internet. And so CNN's crazed headlines about this and the Democrats' crazed talk about this, it's a wild exaggeration. How a regulatory issue that had very little impact on how the internet actually worked between 2015 and 2017, how that became a life or death scenario, just demonstrates the level of hysteria for people who really don't understand what the issue is, even on the most basic level. I'm not an expert on net neutrality. I don't pretend to be an expert on net neutrality. But the basic issue is not about the destruction of the internet as we know it. Yeah, it's just patently insane. But Jimmy Kimmel went off on it, and, and here, here he is. I mean, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, first of all, I feel like every time Jimmy Kimmel speaks politics now, he should be morally obligated to bring out his baby, to trot out his child, since he obviously makes emotional appeals on every, he should, what he really should do, if he's not going to bring out his own kid uh, to talk health care, what he really should do is he should bring out a poor homeless urchin, street urchin, who will no longer be able to access internet at the public library for purposes of pornography, and he should just drape his arm around him, and then he should say, this poor child will no longer have internet because of net neutrality. He basically did that last night just without the poor street urchin. Again, I don't know what qualifies Jimmy Kimmel to talk about these things. And I'm happy for Jimmy Kimmel to, you know, have a debate with somebody who knows about it. But Jimmy Kimmel doesn't want to do any of those things. He just wants to read Chuck Schumer agitprop. So here he is. The FCC did something absolutely despicable today. Despicable. They voted to put an end to net neutrality. Now, this is the rule that says everyone gets equal access to the Internet. A big company or somebody selling uh, crocheted owls from their house in the Midwest. Now, as long as they tell us they're doing it now, Internet service providers will be allowed to slow down or block web traffic to any website or streaming service they like, which benefits the big telecom companies and does the opposite for all of us. But I just want to say thank you, President Trump. Thanks to you and this jackhole you appointed to run the FCC. <laughs> he's big a jackhole, so it's funny. about to take full control of the internet. So it's, it's, it's like comedy. It's like, like he's, a, it's, he's a jackhole, so it's comedy now. It's not just political. It's because he said jackhole. Get it? Ha, ha, ha. I love Jimmy Kimmel speaking on behalf of ABC, Disney, the biggest corporation in, on planet Earth, right? I mean, he's on ABC. Disney just bought Fox, Fox 21st century, right? They just bought it, okay, outright. Disney is an enormous corporation. And here is Jimmy Kimmel talking on ABC's airwaves on what is basically an oligopoly, right? ABC was allowed to dominate the airwaves because it was one of three networks for most of its history. And here he is talking about all oh, those corporations that are going to be controlling everything, those big corporations, because you know who doesn't know anything about big corporations is Jimmy Kimmel. Right? And I love when he says that like grandma and her crochet website, that's the one that's going to pay the price for net neutrality being, being done away with. The whole point is that Netflix, Google, YouTube oppose it, not grandma with her crochet website. No one cares about grandma's crochet website. You'd think that, you'd think that Verizon's sitting around going, aha, uh -huh, now we got grandma in the crosshairs, we're going to make her pay up. I mean, she wants her crochet website up there? Ha, 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 I got to double her price. What absolute sheer nonsense. I mean, what he's saying doesn't even make any sense. And, and it neglects the fact that there are big corporations on both sides of this. Like, we're going to have a giant fight. Dave Burge, Iowa Hawk, had a great tweet on this. He basically said, I never thought that the end of the world was going to come over the people who actually provide the content to social media arguing over who should benefit from their content provision. The ISPs or the or, or, or companies like Facebook. That's really what it is. Like the cows are arguing over who should benefit more over their provision of the milk, the grocery store, the farmer. That, that's really all that's happening here. But it's just, it, it's insipid. And, and the level of ire is totally crazy. And pe again, people don't know about it. Like Jimmy Kimmel doesn't know what he's talking about here. Again, I'm not an expert. But I know more than Jimmy Kimmel.